This is gonna be my final update for my Project 10 pan that I started during the summer. I initially thought that this would be finished up by maybe August or September at the latest, but I've kind of been dragging my feet a little bit. So I'm gonna start off and show you all the products that I finished off. Then I'll go back through and show you the last few products that I just have a little bit left remaining in them. Out of the 13 products that I initially added in to this project, I do have 10 that I've hit my goal on or I finished, and then I have three that have just a tiny little bit of product remaining in them. So let me start with the items that I've finished off entirely. Oh, this first one, this was the very first item that I finished. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. I don't see a shade on here, but this is the darkest brown that was available. It was some kind of brunette shade. You can see there it's scrolled up all the way. It won't scroll up anymore. I thought the formula was all right, but I definitely prefer the L'Oreal Brow Pencils over these ones from Maybelline, so I definitely won't be repurchasing this. I also have the Dior Lip Glow. This is their Color Reviver Balm right here. This is just the original pink shade. They've since released probably eight to 10 other shades of this item, and they have different finishes now too. I just finished it off so that I'm against the plastic thing. So if I apply this straight to the lips, it's scraping against my lips now. It's a clear balm essentially, but when you put it on the lips, it does alter the shade just a little bit. It's supposed to adjust to your pH levels or something, but I think it just turns a very light pink color. It's all right, sometimes it looks a little bit uneven, but this is one of the initial items that I was able to finish off. You can see my markings along the edge there. Sometimes I'll add in non-makeup products. This is one of those. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is the Synchronized Recovery Complex 2 right here. And I've been working on this. I think I received this sometime in December or January, but it's finally finished off. It does have a really nice dropper mechanism, but once you get down to a certain point, it won't pull the product up into the actual applicator or dropper here. It smells like oranges almost, but I don't know. Sometimes it would peel up. I had to be especially careful with my skincare products when I applied this. So I don't think that this is the absolute perfect product for me and my super dry skin, but it's definitely a good one. I'm probably just not gonna repurchase this in the future. I've had a couple samples in the past. This one, like I said, it was sent to me in either December or January from Estee Lauder from the Octoly website. One product that I have here that I wasn't planning to finish entirely, I just wanted to hit pan on it. It is my NARS blush in Sex Appeal. And this one, I think it had a tiny bit of pan in it initially. This is what it looks like now. That is the amount of pan in there. So I'm satisfied with this now. It's definitely a very light shade. I think if you have a medium skin tone, you're probably not even gonna see this on the skin. So um, I do really enjoy this product. It's like a very pastel peachy pink sort of color, but it's really great, especially in the winter time for super pale individuals like myself. So I do like this product. I'll continue to use it, I'm just gonna put it back into my blush rotation. And then the next product that I have here, this is from Tristique. I think I mentioned this in my last empties video, but this is their mini highlight stick. And when you scroll it up all the way, this little part here, this is actually the plastic part. It's, it's not product. So this one is scrolled up all the way. I'm kind of over a cream highlight. Sometimes if I would put this directly on the skin, it would pick up my foundation. So I found that the best way for me to use it would be to apply a little bit to my fingertip and then dab it onto the cheeks that way. Um, I'm not a real big fan of cream products, uh, cream highlighters, cream blushes, or anything, so I'm probably not going to be purchasing this one anytime in the near future. A couple products that are in my next empties video, I'm not sure which one's gonna go out first, if it's gonna be my empty empties from last month or this video, but this product here, this is my Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. This was just a little deluxe size. Fun fact, if you didn't know, these little products here, they actually have half the amount of product that the full size does, so that you're getting a good value when you, when you can pick these up, especially if they're like a 100 point perk or something. But at the last update, I can't remember if I marked this or not, but those are the two marks that I have there. And this one is completely finished off. I took the little stopper out, got out the majority of the product that I could in there. There's a tiny little bit left on the edges, as you can see, but the majority of the product is out. I like these, but I haven't purchased a full size of these in... I would say years. <laughs> I think it's been a couple years since I've had a full-size one of those, but I did enjoy it. I really like the shade of this, but 
I'm personally probably not gonna pick it up. I might if it was a 100 point perk. This one here, this took me a little bit because I was having a little, a little bit of trouble applying this to the skin and not having it look cloudy. This one, this is the Chanel UV Essential Anti-Pollution Broad Spectrum SPF 50 right here. I have some markings on the side there. I think when I started the project, I was right here and that was at the first update, but I've since finished off this Amena product. This is a full fluid ounce in this container. This was insanely expensive. I definitely won't be purchasing this again in the future. Um, not sure what came over me when I got this, but I decided to spend over $50 on a sunscreen. It's very fragranced um, and it does leave the skin just a little bit cloudy. So if I was trying to put it over the top of like tattoos or something, it would leave them looking a little bit cloudy. It has almost like a white residue left behind. That's the easiest way that I can describe it. So it was difficult for me to apply this on certain areas of the body. It never broke me out when I used it on the face. So I'm happy with that and I'm happy to have this finished finally, but I won't be purchasing that one again. I have a sentimental attachment to this product here. This is the Ed Hardy Love Kills Slowly perfume right here. I think I've had two or three of these, but my brother had initially purchased this for me one Christmas and I finished it off and I just kept purchasing it again every time that I saw it. Uh, this one is the 1.7 fluid ounce container. That was where I was at when I started the project. That was at the first update and I've since finished off what I can out of here. There's a little bit in the container that I can't get to spray out. There's a couple drops at the very, very bottom, but this is essentially finished. I'm happy to have it finished. I might repurchase this again in the future, but I have over 30 perfumes. I definitely have more than enough to work on in the meantime. So I'll try and finish off some other ones. This is a very sweet fragrance. I would say it's almost like a tart strawberry sort of fragrance. It almost has like a citrus note to it, but it's a really nice sweeter fragrance if you're in the market for something like that. Um, sometimes you can find these at TJ Maxx or Nordstrom Rack or something. So just keep your eyes out if you like that perfume. I was also finally able to finish off this foundation here. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. And I was in the shade Fair Neutral right here. Hopefully you can see this has been sitting upright waiting for me to film a video for a little bit now, but I was right there at the intro that was at the first update and this is finished. It looks like there's a little bit at the bottom, but the glass comes up and this is completely used up. I really enjoyed this for quite a while. If my skin's really misbehaving and it's very dry. This didn't really sit so well on the skin, but it was nice when my skin was behaving. I would occasionally mix this in with a dab of my moisturizer and that helped it sit a little bit better on the skin. I'm not gonna say that I'll repurchase this again in the future because I've kind of been steering clear of foundations. I've just been using concealer instead. So I, I don't know that I'll repurchase this, but it is a good one if you have normal to dry skin. The final product that I have finished here is the Vaseline Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant Vitalizing Body Gel Oil right here. I've had this around for so long and I just used the tiniest little bit every time that I use it that it was taking so long to finish up. I finally tossed it into this project and it is finished. I think I was right here at the intro. This is where I was at at the update, the last update, and I've since finished that off. So I'm really happy with this one finally being moved out. You can see my marks on here. I've been trying to work through this for over half the product. It just lasts for so long because you use such a small little insignificant amount. I really enjoyed putting this over the top of tattoos just to leave a nice sheen on the skin or down the center of the legs in the summertime. So really nice product. I would consider repurchasing this again in the future after I've used up a handful of my other lotions and kind of shimmery products for the body, but I really did like that and the scent is phenomenal on it. And now we're down to the last three products that I was not able to finish off. The first one is my MAC lipstick in Snob. This one should have been finished. I just haven't been reaching for a very bright pink lip color, but let me roll this up here. That was where I was at initially. That was at the first update and I'll remove those before I back to MAC it but that is where I'm at right now. So it's definitely been a little while since the last update, but hopefully you can see there, I've used up more than half of this. I should be able to finish this off before the end of the year easily. I would say the middle of December, 
couple weeks, three or four weeks, I should have this finished off, but I just need to reach for it. And I don't have a problem using up my MAC lipsticks. I just wish that I would have used this a little bit more. I also have my Laura Mercier Moonlight Caviar Stick right here. This is one of my favorite caviar sticks from Laura Mercier. When I started the project, I put this little marking on the cap there. And now when I hold this up against here, you can see how far I've used the product. I just have a tiny little bit left, so I'm gonna focus on this over the next couple of weeks and hopefully have this finished before the end of November, first part of December. So anyway, I really love this color. It's really beautiful. It's more of a cooler toned kind of taupe. I definitely recommend these caviar sticks. They're some of my all-time favorite eye bases and cream shadow sticks. And then the final product that I wasn't able to finish off is a skincare item. This is from Lancome. This is the Energy V Illuminating and Purifying Exfoliating Mask right here. This one was sent to me, I think, uh, November of last year because it was around my birthday. It was like the day after my birthday or something. So I've had this for a year now. And when I started this project, maybe if I hold it like that, you can see a little bit better, but I was right there when I started the project. I got down to there at the first update. This is where I'm at currently. So I just have the tiniest little bit left. I probably have two to three more masks to apply to the face. And initially I thought that this wasn't really doing anything, but the more that I used it, I can definitely see a difference when I do use it. It does have almost like an apple cider scent to it. It reminds me of fall time every time that I smell this product. The little gritty pieces in here aren't gritty enough to actually um, exfoliate the skin, I don't think, but after I take this off the skin, I usually let this sit on my skin for probably 20 to 30 minutes, and then when I remove it, my skin just feels so plump and juicy and hydrated, moisturized. It feels really good after I've used this product, so I'm definitely savoring the last few masks that I have here. I was kind of just using it here and there whenever, not really paying attention to it before, but after I started noticing some of the results after using it regularly, I definitely really like this. Uh, this was sent to me a while back from Lancome through the Octoly website, but doesn't change my opinions on it at all. Like I said, initially I didn't really enjoy this product, but the more that I use it, definitely changed my opinions on it. So those were all the products that I was focusing on for this project pan. I have items that I'm trying to use up for a finish nine by New Year's. I'm not doing like an official video on my channel just because it's so late into the year, but personally I'm working on that. So hopefully I'll have some more empties to include in my yearly makeup empties. I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.